Welcome back. So uh, it's interesting when you look at these cards, some of them could go with one or the other, or some of them could kind of be for both of them. So that's something for you, um, interesting uh, to think about as well as like, I'm sure you already have, and it'll be interesting to see what you guys have all thought about for this. And um, hopefully we'll have an opportunity to have discussions about this as well. So it's also important for you to remember how you evaluated the evidence so that you can use it when you create your own scientific argument. So yes, we will be revisiting the scientific argument as we get more evidence. Remember I said we're going to revisit and refine and revise what it is that we were thinking. That's what scientists do all the time. So now I want you to take some time to um, think about the evidence now that we've sorted it. Which claim do you think is best supported by the evidence and why? Remember that the question we're asking is what geologic process could have formed the channel on Mars? Do you think that the evidence supports that flowing water form, formed the channel on Mars or that flowing lava formed the channel on Mars and why? Really look and think about the evidence gradient and which pieces of evidence you felt were more convincing and you looked at both of them. So if you had more convincing evidence for one or the other, then that should help you to decide which one you now think um, has the stronger case for, for being the way the geologic process that did form the channel on Mars. I'll see you when you get done. <laughs>